Kingdom Hearts has one of the largest rosters of any video game with close to 100 characters. The game mixes characters from different universes. You got Mickey, you got Sephiroth, and so on. While we won't get into how Mickey is related to Minnie, today we will take a deeper look at the connections between the main characters of Kingdom Hearts. This family tree will be a bit different from previous ones because most Kingdom Heart characters are not family members. Instead, they are childhood friends or happen to meet during their adventures, and some characters share way more than the same last name. In the Kingdom Hearts universe, the darkness of one's heart can turn into a heartless. The leftover body, now without a heart, becomes a nobody. We won't explain the full story of the game, but rather focus on who is who in the Kingdom Hearts universe. So here is how the main characters of the Kingdom Hearts series are related, including friendship, known associations, the Heartless, and the Nobodies. I'm Caboose, and this is the Kingdom Hearts Family Tree. Long before the first events of Kingdom Hearts, the Keyblade War broke out between sides wanting to control Kingdom Hearts. A legendary weapon called the Keyblade is the only tool able to unlock and control Kingdom Hearts. During the war, this legendary weapon was destroyed and shattered into 20 pieces, 7 of light and 13 of darkness. Many years after the Keyblade War, two Keyblade users trained under the supervision of Master Odin Ericus and Xehanort. While Ericus believes darkness should be destroyed at all costs, Xehanort is a more cunning character who secretly dreams of merging with Kingdom Hearts to become all-knowing and create a world where darkness and light would be more balanced. Ericus and Xehanort trained for the Mark of Mastery, a mandatory exam to become a Keyblade Master. During this training, a mysterious figure approaches Xehanort and grants him the power to travel through time. The hooded figure, later revealed as the Master of Masters, gives Xehanort a black coat of his own and discusses how the apprentice sees the future of the world. Xehanort realizes that he could control darkness instead of letting it control him. Both Ericus and Xehanort pass their Mark of Mastery exam and become Keyblade Masters. While Ericus follows the steps of his mentor, Xehanort leaves to travel the worlds. Oh, never heard that one before. A Keyblade wielder willing to side with the darkness? The Master of Masters is a mysterious figure, always hiding in his black coat. He was a child during the Keyblade War and became the first ever Keyblade Master. The Master of Masters took six apprentices under his care, Lushu, Ira, Ava, Envy, Aced, and Gula. He trained them to become Keyblade Masters, crafting Keyblades from their hearts. Ava, one of the Master of Masters apprentices, selects five individuals whose hearts could defeat darkness, so they could protect the light. This group, formed by Ephemer, Scald, Ventus, Lorium, and Streletzia, is known as the Dandelions. When the Master of Masters created the Keyblades for his apprentices, he also crafted another powerful weapon. He used his own eye to create a special Keyblade called the Gazing Eye. This weapon was passed down from Masters to students for generations until it eventually came to Xehanort's hands. The Master of Masters tasked one of his students, Lushu, to watch over the Gazing Eye. Lushu took a new body as a vessel and is now called Brag. He joins Xehanort, acting like a fool who desired the power of the Keyblade. Years later, Master Ericus trains two students of the Mark of Mastery exam, Terra and Aqua. Xehanort trains a young boy called Ventus and hopes to turn him into his new vessel. However, Ventus is a poor candidate for Xehanort, refusing to use his darkness to defeat his opponents. Xehanort uses his Keyblade to extract darkness from Ventus' heart, creating a boy in a mask called Vanitas. At first, Vanitas felt sad about being separated from Ventus. This sadness turned into hatred, leading to the creation of unversed creatures born from negative emotions. As he cannot train both students, Xehanort brings Ventus to Master Ericus and keeps on training Vanitas. Ventus eventually becomes friends with Terra and Aqua, the other students of Master Ericus. As Terra and Aqua are taking their Mark of Mastery exam, Xehanort sabotages the test, causing Terra to fail. He tells the young boy that he should embrace his darkness while secretly hoping to turn Terra into his new vessel. That sneaky son of a- as the worlds are under threat from the Unversed, Aqua, Terra, and Ventus are sent to destroy these creatures. Terra eventually meets with a five-year-old called Riku. Terra has a vision of Riku's future and decides to choose him as his successor. He submits Riku to the Keyblade Inheritance Ceremony, but asks the boy to keep it a secret for now. 
While Terra is making friends with Riku, Aqua meets Sora. She recognizes his friendship towards Riku and asks the boy to save his friend if he were to fall into the hands of darkness. As he was traveling the worlds, Terra realizes that Xenord wants to reforge the Keyblade, the legendary weapon that caused the Keyblade War. Xenord is looking for these seven princesses, even though he doesn't yet know their identities. Xenord also wants to use Ven's heart to create the Keyblade. Master Ericus tries to kill Ven to stop Xenord's plans, but things don't go as expected, and Ericus dies. Xehanort reveals his plan to use the Keyblade to unlock Kingdom Hearts, as well as his wish to use Terra's body as a new vessel for his own heart. Xehanort releases his heart with his Keyblade and sends it towards Terra to take the boy's body as a vessel. Terra fights back, but Xehanort's heart possesses him. Terra! Uh, look closely. That's not Terra. Aqua fights against Terra Xehanort to save her friend. She eventually sacrifices her armor and Keyblade to save Terra, forcing his heart out of his Keyblade and into the Dark Figure. Aqua vanishes in the realm of darkness. After this fight, Brig brings Ansem the Wise and one of his followers, Dylan, to Terra Xehanort. He lies unconscious and loses his memory in the battle. Xehanort becomes one of Ansem the Wise's apprentices, alongside Brig, Dylan, even Aelis, and Lenzo. Ansem the Wise is a sage king who studies the heart to protect his people from the darkness. However, his students dabble too deep into the darkness without supervision. Xenord willingly gives his heart to the darkness, leading to the creation of two powerful creatures, the Heartless and the Nobodies. The Heartless are physical manifestations of the darkness within people's hearts and have no emotions. The Nobodies are what remains of those who lost their hearts. If most Nobodies are creatures looking far from their past human selves, those with a stronger will can keep on living seemingly normal as a Nobody. The six apprentices of Ansem create powerful Nobodies. Zigbar, Zaldin, Vexen, Lexius, and Zexion are respectively the Nobodies of Brag, Dylan, even Aelis and Lenzo. The group is led by Xemnas, the nobody of Xenort. I dare any of you to say what I just said 10 times fast, record it and send it to me, I will give you $10. Together, they form Organization 13, a group of nobodies seeking to reclaim their hearts to become whole again. New members will later join their ranks, Demix, Luxord, Marluxia, and Larxene. The original personas of Demix and Luxord are still unknown. Marluxia and Larxene are the nobodies of Lorium and Elrena. When he gave his heart to the darkness, Xehanort created a powerful heartless called Ansem, Seeker of Darkness. His heart is so corrupted by darkness that his heartless is not an ink black creature, but looks like any other human. This allowed him to destroy many worlds in the Kingdom Hearts universe without revealing his true identity. Xenor banishes the real Ansem, Ansem the Wise, to the realm of darkness. Ansem drops his former name as Xenor stole it for his heartless, Ansem, Seeker of Darkness. Ansem the Wise becomes D-I-Z, short for Darkness in Zero. Even though he didn't intend to, he eventually gains the powers of darkness and manages to escape from the realm of darkness. D.I.Z. grabs a red robe and a mask to hide his identity and seeks revenge on Organization 13 and his former students. Many years later, Sora, Riku, and their friend Kairi are now teenagers. Sora obtains a Keyblade, a replica of the original legendary weapon, able to defeat the Heartless. Donald Duck and Goofy recruit him to find their king, Mickey Mouse, across several worlds filled with darkness. Sora's girlfriend, Kairi, is a princess of heart, like the one Xehanort is chasing for his Keyblade. As with other princesses, Kairi's heart holds no darkness, but only light. Riku is the best friend of Sora and Kairi. After Sora found the Keyblade, Maleficent manipulates Riku to make him believe Sora turned his back on his friends for the power of the Keyblade. Sora manages to convince his friend otherwise, but a mysterious cloaked man tells Riku he should embrace the darkness. It later appears that Riku is possessed by Ansem, Seeker of Darkness, the Heartless of Xehanort. He is looking for the last Princess of Heart, Kairi. Sora sacrifices himself using the Keyblade to free Kairi's heart, which was trapped inside him. Sora becomes Heartless and creates a nobody, Roxas. Because Kairi has no darkness in her heart, she cannot turn into a Heartless. Her nobody, Namine, is born from Kairi's heart, but with Sora's body and soul. As a result, she has a deep connection with Sora and is able to manipulate his memories and the ones of the individuals related to him. Roxas, the nobody of Sora, has no memories of his creation. He is taken in by Organization 13. Xemnas, the oldest of the nobodies, 
controls all members of Organization 13. Xemnas sends Roxas and other members of Organization 13 to various worlds to destroy Heartless with their Keyblade and release captive hearts. Roxas is placed under the care of Axel, and the two will soon become friends. He also bonds with Zeon, the newest member of the organization that bears a resemblance to Zoro's girlfriend Kairi. Zeon learns she is an imperfect replica of Roxas, created by Vexen from Sora's memories. This revelation deeply confuses Zeon, who leaves Organization 13 and her friends. Later on, Roxas also defects from Organization 13. Shio is a puppet created to duplicate your powers. Zeon, manipulated by Xemnas, tries to absorb Roxas to become whole. Roxas defeats his friend, who dies in his arms. Roxas inherits Zeon's Keyblade, allowing him to wield two weapons at once. Sora, Riku, and their friends manage to get rid of Organization 13, killing almost all of its members. Xehanort, who won't leave our heroes in peace, reveals the new purpose of the organization, to serve as vessels for pieces of Xehanort's heart, transforming all organization members into clones of Xehanort. His goal is to pit his vessels against seven Keyblade wielders to recreate the Keyblade. Xehanort tries to turn Sora into one of his vessels, but the hero is saved by his friends. To add one more link to our family tree, Lee is the best friend of Aiza, the original persona of Sakes. Just like Axel, the nobody of Lee, Sakes is a member of Organization 13. But let's go back to Sora. Lenzo, the youngest apprentice of Ansem the Wise, discovers via his master's research that Sora's body contains the heart of Roxas, Ventus, and Zeon. Sora uses a replica body to free Roxas and Ventus. In the meantime, Riku and King Mickey find Aqua, who's been trapped in the Realm of Darkness ever since she tried to save Terra. They exercise the darkness from her heart and return Aqua to the Realm of the Light. Sora, Riku, Kairi, Lee, Aqua, King Mickey, and Ventus now form the Seven Guardians of Light, a group of Keyblade wielders wanting to defeat Xehanort's evil plans. They fall into a trap set by the organization and the possessed Terra, but the Seven Keyblade wielders manage to defeat them. In the process, Terra regains control of his body and reunites with his best friends Aqua and Ventus. As everything was looking pretty good for the Seven Guardians of Light, Xehanort strikes back. He destroys Kairi's body, finally getting the last princess heart he needed to acquire the Keyblade and summon the Kingdom Heart. The heroes use Xehanort's time-traveling powers to meet a younger version of the villain and defeat him. Xehanort dies, and Sora and his friends use the Keyblade to close the Kingdom Heart. Sora then decides to use this power to revive Kairi, despite the risk of losing his heart to the power of the Keyblade. And that wraps up our Kingdom Heart family tree. Even though most of the characters are not family members, some share their hearts and bodies, literally. Which video game series should we cover next? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure you also drop a like on this video and subscribe to the leaderboard for more gaming content every single week. I've been Caboose with the leaderboard, and we'll see you next time.